What's up guys? Joe Munoz, OneStepPrep.com. I'm on my way into Recurrent on a rainy Thursday afternoon. But anyways, a hot topic of the day is RNAV visuals. I want to talk to you about RNAV visual approaches. Uh, three things in particular. Number one, you have to have either the airport in sight or the preceding traffic in sight for the uh, approach controller to give you the clearance that you are cleared for the visual approach. That's the first thing. Second thing is that we need sometimes to select an approach via. And the only way for you to properly select an approach via is to not have a star loaded. And so you may have to select no star to then properly find the vias. And the problem is that I can't really select no star if I'm on the star. So that's where your secondary flight plan comes in handy. And what you're going to need to do is in your secondary flight plan on a 320 we're talking here, uh, you're going to want to load no star and then select the approach via for the RNAV visual approach that you're looking to conduct that they're advertising on the ATIS. So uh, I guess it's really two things. I said three, but it's two things. Number one, the clearance is going to come when you have either the airport in sight or the preceding aircraft in sight. That's when they can actually issue you clear for the RNAV visual approach. You got to have some visual segment there. And the second thing is making sure that you select VIA by also remembering to select no star, but don't remove the star if you're on it. Use a secondary flight plan to your advantage to be able to properly select uh, the, the, the VIA's option. Um, I will tell you also that once you're on a vector, all right, so they, the controller says uh, trainer one, turn left or turn right heading, such and such heading, vectors, RNAV visual approach to whatever runway it is, that's a good time for you to be in heading mode, of course, and at that point, you'll have the ability to activate secondary, and then you'll have your uh, approach via loaded in properly. Just make sure you're sequenced, of course, and also make sure that you are in the approach phase, because if you're not in the approach phase, of course, when you're clear for the approach and you hit the approach, bo uh, approach mode push button, and you look for app nav and final and blue, and you're looking for final app and all that, you're not gonna get it if you're not in the approach phase. So, a few tips for you there. Hopefully this message finds you well. Joe Munoz is the name. You guys know the name. Paul, enjoy your friends and training program success. We'll see you in another video.